Hey, good morning, Papa D Riders. I'm here in the garage. Oh, well, I don't have a garage. <laughs> but probably in the next uh, week or so, I will be changing out my handlebars. I'm actually going to go over to Nick's house. We're going to do that at his place. But before I do that, um, I watched a video that Joe Go Motorcycle Adventures put out about the soft brake reduced reach clutch lever and reduced reach brake lever. And I ordered those. I'm gonna put those on the bike today, hopefully. Um, I'm not a very good mechanic, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm not gonna video that process. If you wanna see how that's done, go to Joe's channel. I'll leave a link in the description and check out his video on both these products. Um, really simple to do, so I, I feel confident that I can do it. What I am gonna do, I'm gonna put them on there and either today or tomorrow, I'm going to go ride and see how that changes my ability to do slow speed maneuvers. Both of these uh, levers have a reduced reach of about an inch. So you don't have to release the clutch quite as far to get in the friction zone. And you actually get to the braking zone a little quicker when you're gripping the brake. Should make the bike uh, more controllable at slow speed and make it safer for me to ride it. And then next week, I'm going to change the bars uh, I'm doing things kind of in stages because I want to see what makes the difference. I want to see if these brake levers make a great deal of difference with these factory 47 bars. I love the bars. I love the look of them. But since I put them on the bike, man, I have lost all confidence in doing right and left turns from a stop and U-turns. Um, and so I want to get better at that. I want to practice that more. But I haven't had the confidence to even get out and practice it really a whole lot lately. So I want to change these things and see how I improve and I'm gonna do a video on those as well so let's get to it let's put these on here and I want to show you what came in the package real quick so this comes in really nice packaging I'm using the back of my car here as a workbench but I've already opened it up once really nice packaging um, came from soft brake incorporated I want to show you how it's actually packaged in so what happens is soft brake will send you your levers look how nicely that's packaged man Awesome. Made in the USA. How about that? And then they send you a self-addressed stamped envelope to return those in. And when I was talking to Rick over at Salt Break, what he was asking is, when you return them, put them down inside of this envelope and wrap them around and then put them in there. It gives them added protection because, because this is a one-to-one -one exchange. So when you put your levers on your bike, you have to send him your re levers in return. And so that's what I'm doing today. And he also gives you a 10 day window. So from the time you receive the, the uh, levers, you have 10 days to get them changed out and back in the mail to him, or there's a $60 charge for the core. So I'm gonna get these on and off, get them sent back to him. But he said, you wouldn't believe how much they get nicked up because people just drop them in the envelope. If you'll take time to take your stock levers, put them down in that first envelope and kind of wrap them up in that and then drop them down in that second bubble envelope. It'll give it some extra protection so they're in good condition when they get back to him in Idaho and he can work these up for somebody else. Okay, let's get to the install. Guys, that took me about 30 minutes. The old ones are on the bike. I mean, the new ones are on the bike and the old ones are right here. I'm going to put them both in this old envelope and I'm gonna roll it up and put it inside the new one and send it on its way. Hopefully that'll protect it good for Rick. Get these back to him. And I'm gonna ride the bike and see how this makes a difference. All right, guys, I'm gonna go to the post office and get these old levers in the mailbox back to Rick and soft break. But, man, if you do this, be real careful when you first start riding the bike again because that clutch pull, man, Almost immediately, whenever you start releasing the clutch, you're in the friction zone. And before I had to let it out an inch and a half or so, before I felt like I was getting into it, but like literally right there, and I'm in the friction zone. So, um, yeah, let's go put these in the mailbox.
definitely a different feeling, guys. I mean, it's the beauty of it. I guess the difference is I wasn't pulling the clutch all the way in before, but my hand was always out in an out position, which really tires you out when you're having to do a lot of clutch work. Right now, man, I'm almost all the way in. I am all the way in to the game, and then I'm just barely releasing it, and I'm already in the position. So, so I think I'm going to fight this a lot. Right turn from a stop here. She had the All right, Rick, they're back in the mail to you, buddy. Man, I'm going to like this after I practice for a little while, but it's going to take a little bit of practice. I love that friction zone where it's at now, man. My hand will be cramping as much. Woohoo! Now to get these bars where they're not so wide. Can't wait to get my new bars on here. Brother Nick's been out of town, so we've been putting off putting the new bars on here till he gets back. Because I definitely need his help in his shop to do that. And it's time to do the 40,000 mile service. Um, I'm just now pushing 5,000 miles since my last service, so I need to get that done this week as well. Right-hand circle is a whole lot easier than me trying to do a left-hand circle. But I definitely like where this uh, placement's at. Robert's 
Christmas. Make sure we're in the left gear. Uh, <laughs> Robert's Christmas, make sure we're in first gear. Yep. Start the rear brake. Reload. Keep it loaded. Like the range of the end of the zone one right there. Then put your left foot. Okay, I still have a pretty genuine fear of turning the handlebars without somebody here with me. They're just too wide still. We're changing these bars sometime in the next week or so. But I'm liking these new soft brake clutch and brake levers. Reduced reach clutch and brake levers from soft brake. I'm really liking them a lot. So let's head back to the house. I gotta go pick the kitties up for the afternoon. Thanks for riding along, guys. Well guys, we made it back home. I'm really liking these soft brake, reduced reach clutch and brake levers. I think they're gonna make a big difference in the safety of how I can control my bike. Can't wait to get the new bars on here and just try the whole setup up. But I will tell you that this reduced reach clutch lever puts me in that friction zone almost immediately. Just gotta get used to where it's at because before, man, you were way out here with your grip and now you're right close. Um, that's gonna take some practice. But as you saw, I went out and practiced a little bit. I've got a lot of work to do. I appreciate you guys riding along with me today. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to my channel. Come back and ride with me again sometime. I want everybody to have a blessed day and I'll catch you guys on the next ride.